using fresh, clean chicken tenderloins. I'm going to go ahead and chop these up into small, bite-sized pieces. Now that my chicken is all seasoned, it should look something like this. Now I'm dropping it into my hot cast iron pan with some olive oil. I'm making sure to separate my pieces so they can get an even layer so I can get a nice good sear. Getting ready to slice my veggies. Flipping my chicken since it seems like it is good on one side. Now for the other. Now I have my veggies and my onions nicely sliced thin. They're ready for my mix. I'm just going to add that to my chicken and mix those around so I can get them to get nice and translucent. Those flavors are coming together, and boy, does it smell good in here. When it's done, it should look just like this. Mm, I could eat this out the pan right now. So now for my wontons. I'm going to lay them out so I can get ready to add my fillings. I'm mixing my egg wash so I can have that ready so I can add my mixture inside and use that to fold. I'm going to make chicken Philly wontons. I grated some fresh Monagerry Jack so I can add to the mixture as well. Now it's time for me to assemble my wontons. Now I know I'm being greedy because these wontons are way too little to be putting this much filling in. But as you see, I'm being sidetracked because this chicken is good, it's looking at me, and I want it all in there. So soon I'm going to realize that this is too much and I'm going to have to reduce the amount that I am putting inside. But right now, I think I'm just playing around and falling in love because, again, I can literally just eat this right here, right now, with nothing else. So I'm still being hard-headed to myself, trying to smush as much as I can. And eventually, I realize that I do have to scale down. But right at the moment, I'm trying to make it work and get as much of the filling inside the wonton as possible. Now I'm just going to brush some of the egg wash. And then I'm going to also use my fork to try to press down the ends so I can seal my wontons together. So now I have just about all the wontons that I want to put down for my first batch. Now it's time for me to get started on making the Asian chicken wonton taco. So for this, I have sesame oil, some cabbage that I am throwing into my hot cast iron pan along with my chicken that has been pre-seasoned. 
I'm going to separate those chicken again so all of that can make sure it gets a good layer and it can absorb up all of the oil and flavors that I am about to add to this chicken and this coleslaw to give it its Asian cuisine t authentic taste. I'm going to add a couple of more drips of sesame oil so I can add some more cabbage. Looks like I'm going to probably use the whole bag for these tacos. I'm just going to keep stirring the mixture around, adding some ginger again so we can create those flavors. Stirring and mixing consistently before I get ready to add some soy sauce. I am maintaining a high heat because I do not want to burn the cabbage while my chicken is searing. I'm also adding in some sugar so I can cut that thick sodium taste and make sure it also has a sweetness. Now you see me adding in some minced garlic. And again, all of these flavors are infusing to add into the Asian cuisine authentic style. I also added some parsley for its color, and boy, does this look, smell, mm, and taste so delicious. So now that our second mixture is ready, we are ready to fry our wonton shells. First, I am creating my wonton tacos. Now it's time for me to drop my chicken Philly wontons. So now that they are all done and all plated, here we go, guys. We have on the left-hand side, we have these chicken Philly wontons. Uh, these things are out of this world. I really envisioned it and said this is what I wanted to do and I am so pleased on how they came out the texture the filling the sauce amazing like I am really really feeling these like yes the chicken Philly wontons you got to get up on these yes 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 they look as good as they taste and then um, that filling, like I said, I was able to smush a lot in there, so I filled them bad boys up, okay? And again, I love the way they look. And here on our right-hand side, we have those Philly. These actually are the chicken, Asian chicken wonton tacos. Now, I did manage to save like a quarter bag, a little less, whatever it was, of the coleslaw so I can then bed in the wonton taco shell first to give it a different texture so it can have um a lot more oh you see that coleslaw in there um so it can have a lot more texture when you bite into it and then the hot filling with this asian sauce that i have on the top let me tell you something it's just um ginger and a little bit of soy sauce and some mayonnaise and what else i put in there i can't oh, i'm not looking at it right now baby top with some parsley man these are my two new snacks like this right here they look so good too like i am really pleased i think that these right here the next time i do anything go anywhere and somebody asks me to make something and it's an appetizer it's going to be these. Yeah, this, th these are the new things. That's right. Please drop a comment. Let me know. Do you like the way these look? Would you eat these? Man, listen. Thanks so much.